mind blowing experience and um it's hard for me to even explain my experience during the but what i can say is that it was a total blessing from the journey leading up to when the bell rang for now it's time to put on the show straight to the end of the show and i think the standing ovation that the entire cast received at the end of the show was like one of the greatest feelings it was so humbling to see that they received the message and uh that they got on to their feet and they applauded everybody who was part of the production that was a very 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 humbling experience for everyone involved well i'm sure everyone was uh, you know they were not just in awe by his singing but by the production because i understand that it was um, amazing well yes we didn't have enough time to rehearse the the items the way we would have intended but we had a team there that was you know feeding off each other's energy and ready to make snap decisions in a moment right. And, and sometimes the impromptu ones are the best. Oh, well, <laughs> the entire thing I could say <laughs> would have been impromptu because yeah. we had a lot of technical issues on the night before, but then the supper staff together with people on my production team and all the production teams that joined together with us, SSR Productions and Sorav Entertainment, and together with North 11. I don't know if you all know about North 11, but they are a projection mapping company. Okay. So they worked in tandem with the lighting engineers at Sapa mm -hmm. and the audio engineers and the whole crew and the whole cast they came together to really really help me um uh, put out my vision there in a way that people walked away with the experience I wanted them to have and wanted them to feel and wanted to to stay with them long after the last note was sung and I have to give special mention to North 11 for the extremely hard work they put in in a few days and a few hours just before the concert to try to make sure that the audience was immersed in an experience that was not just sonic but very visual also because the I don't want to give away much because I intend to repeat the, 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 the show yes, yes, okay. and I want to protect the script but let's just say that the, the experience didn't just end at the end of the stage it, it went out into the audience on the walls and the ceiling so, so it was magical. it was very immersive for everyone involved yeah and it was not just an external um sensation for them but i hope that i stood them in well vocally you you do that to a lot of people <laughs> you do that because when we hear you we right. we we leave wherever we're at from listening to you and your voice is still in our head because it's so beautiful Sometimes. Well, <laughs> I, I get that feedback. Times. Well, it's hard for me to <laughs> experience times. my own voice, you know, right. like there's the saying, a flower can't smell its own fragrance. Right. So I don't know what scent I give off. Right. I guess it's pleasing to some and then it's not so pleasing to other people, right? Uh, forget, but, <laughs> forget the negative. Please forget the but, negative. <laughs> but, but I mean, the feedback uh, um, from the audience and the response I've gotten from private messages and even public messages and, and messages that I've been um, getting on, on my social media. I mean, if I were to read some of them for you, it will just be, I don't know, it's just hard to, 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 to really appreciate a concert like that by talking about it. The only way to appreciate it is to, to be have there. been there. Yeah, you and know? to be there. Yeah, and you're to gonna be do there. Because when, I, yeah, 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 no, it's the self. So we're looking for some dates. Uh, we're planning to take the show to um, North Trinidad. So we have to contact Queens Hall and Napa and see what dates are available. And so before the end of the year, perhaps early next oh, year. Oh no, I'm thinking early next year. Early before the end of the year might be a kind of you know. A task. Why why now, Nival? Why 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 at this time? Because I know you've been singing um, since. Oh. Since you are a baby, you've been singing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, we saw you on Mastana Bahar so many umpteen years ago. Yeah. And um, you've grown. But to me, you've been just as good as you were 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So why, why now? Why, why did you decide to do this concert now? So I'm a very introverted person. And most artists, really? we have to be intro extra, right? <laughs> well, yeah. So we are, mix, we are a mix of, time, of yes, so many yes. different personalities. But I'm mostly introverted mm -hmm. and very quiet. You mm. would never believe that, okay. right? And very shy. <laughs> really? You would never believe that. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> because when we're out there, it's we, we have to right? perform and we have to entertain and we have to engage. But I I spend a lot of time in contemplation. 
my guru Sri 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 Ganapati Sachidananda Swamiji um, two years ago for Guru Purnima he was here and I always hide in the audience and I and I always I'm afraid to go up on stage and perform no matter how many times I've performed before and he always has to coax me to come forward yeah, right think, yeah. so this last Guru Purnima he, he said to me directly he wants me to stop hiding mm. don't hide mm. and it also unlocked different areas in my brain that told me stop, fear was stop, preventing yeah. me from doing a lot of yeah. the things that I wanted to do and mm -hmm. express in a public domain so with his blessing I decided well now is the right time to express and put it in a little bit mm. and let people Showcase. get a, a little peep into my mind and right. this this was just this concert I would say was just a look at the cover of the book right and so maybe a little bit at the back so much more in some <laughs> Side. Yeah, so there are a lot so of more. So happy and proud of you. Thank you so yes. much. And I know Thank many, so many people. Are, they they are saying the same thing. And of mm -hmm. course, for many who weren't fortunate to attend that concert, mm -hmm. I'm definitely sure they're going to be at the other one. For sure. I really hope so. Mm -hmm. And I hope everybody who went to the concert will tell somebody about it and share their experience and encourage people to come, not just to be entertained, but to share in a moment. Of humanity together. Who were uh, some of the folks on the cast? So my special didn't want to reveal <laughs> at any point in time along the marketing campaign of this concert because I wanted to be a special surprise to everybody in attendance. Mm -hmm. So first up, my first guest on the show was Johanna Chakri, the piano girl mm -hmm. at the piano girl on Instagram. Because I saw her, yeah. Right. Was it in England? She was in England, she was on Soka, on the, uh, sorry, um, Uber Soka. Right. Shot the fame when she took her piano out to the Savannah, the Queen's Park mm. Savannah, and did her version of Savannah Grass. Right. So since then, she's been enjoying a lot of attention. That's right. Necessary attention because so many Trinbegonian artists go unnoticed. That's true. And they have such prodigious talents. Mm -hmm. And it's time that we start. Um, you know, loving our own and supporting our own, and I also spoke about that on the on the concert. So she was my special guest, followed by her brother Johan Chakri, mm -hmm. who is a pan genius. Right. You know Johan yes. Chakri, Everyone. and we performed a very special item, which I don't want to give away because you know we You're have repeat. to we have to protect <laughs> the script. Yeah, okay. okay, understood. <laughs> and then soon after Johan, um, I invited Nirmala Sesnarain to share a very very special note with the audience. Mm -hmm and pay tribute to an icon, a Trimbegonian icon. And then I followed that with um, another tribute where another guest artist was supposed to um, come through and support, but the flu, oh, the flu, you yeah, know. everyone had it for a while. Oh my goodness, the flu had, had a lot of people um, in distress mm -hmm. over the past month or yes. two. So, I mean, hopefully the next concert, that guest will be able to come on and, um, express what we intended on the night and then I had a little segment that was a real 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 tricky real real funny um, <laughs> segment and KI came out mm. and did his thing so it was a true multicultural show a true Trini show yeah that's right and we also had um Sally Sagram mm -hmm. and she came and gave us her flavor on the stage and I think John Thomas, I don't know if you may know of him, but he is one of the finest vocalists in Trinidad and Tobago. He's a classically trained singer, Western mm -hmm. classical music, and he has a lot of productions that he uh, puts on during the year, and he will be having a, a show uh, coming up in December at Queen's Hall. He has this Christmas concert series called Believe. I don't know if you may have heard of it. But I, I was fortunate to um, and, uh, cross paths with John at school and also to work with him on his concerts. And it was the first time he was able to join me on my production. And it was a very special moment that we shared. And the audience was in rapture, you know, with mm -hmm. what we displayed. Mm -hmm. And um, the band comprised musicians from KI and the band. Um, Nadia Batson's Sass and Bungie Garland's uh, Asylum Vikings. So Enrico was from Vikings, and then we had Ravi Prasad, um, Akshay, Giron, 
Kevin Khan from Kevin belongs to many different circuits and circles, right? <laughs> and then um Alana White is from Nadia Batson's band. Um of course Captain Virin Rupasad, K and the band. Um the engineers Shiraz Ali from K and the band. Um Nick from K and the band and Taradat Sao, he performs with Rana G's band. So we had even even uh, in the band itself, it was uh, a diverse collection yes. of artists mm-hmm. from various circles, and it was just about unity on the night. The theme was unity, and but and all, although it was a concert type mm-hmm. show, mm-hmm. people wanted to dance, right? Of course. So <laughs> I I did give them opportunity <laughs> right. to dance, but the the I think the most dancing that they were able to do was right in their seats. Oh. Because some people were telling me, well, they were on the edge of their seats for certain parts. Mm. And some people tell me they were gripping on to the, to the armrests mm. and then they felt like they were on a roller coaster ride. The show was, was um, scripted in such a way that there were many twists and turns. So the dancing was more in, on the emotional side. Right. It was up and down. At certain vibe, points, people were vibe. crying. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then laughing <laughs> mindlessly because, you know, your boy like a good laugh mm-hmm. and you could get Pretty um, Gunga. <laughs> <laughs> Not with the Ghana. Though. Not with the Ghana. The Ghana is so perfect. Oh Lord. <laughs> what else would you like to share with us? We I would only love. Have a couple of minutes. I have so many ads. <laughs> oh my goodness! I would love to, you know, talk about my sponsors. Oh yes, go right ahead. Of course, ahead. the official radio station for notes to self was none other than. My favorite station, 103 FM, first finest forever. And I said on the concert that I practically grew up as an artist on this station, going to Diwali Nagar and the booths. And 103 FM always supports my temple and the uh, broadcast from when Swamiji is here. So I always feel a special connection. So I felt like this was the station mm. for me to align myself with and my Thank brand you. with. Thank you. For notes to self. <laughs> and our main sponsor, Republic Bank, mm-hmm. I can't tell you how how much they bolstered and gave us strength and support in so many facets and so many ways. Mm. They really you see that power to make a difference. Yeah. I feel empowered when when they call us in that meeting to tell us they are willing to support and show their love and help us um manifest this vision. Yes. And I can't, you know, express how thankful I am for and the little store and Chattak Foods, mm-hmm. they're like family. Yeah. And it, it, the people who, who align themselves with Notes to Self, it wasn't brands or companies or, or people who I don't have personal relations with. Mm-hmm. I bank with Republic Bank. My family and myself, we purchase sweets for Diwali from the little, <laughs> little store, you know. 103 FM is the frequency we turn to. Docs Engineering works. I have relations with the people there. Ravi mm. Prasad yes. is actually the guitarist in our band and he works. He's an engineer at Docs. Yes. Brand Tech Limited. We have family there. They are like their family to your station yes. too. And then TN Ramnath Contractors, they're like family. VNS Pharmaceuticals, they support me so heavily in anything that I do. They are like family. Island Wire, Tobago, they're a new startup company. Mm-hmm. But um, one of our main, uh, how do you say, henchmen that helped us put together this concert, our production team, Varma Ramdan, he started up a business there mm-hmm. in, in Tobago. And um, the name of that company is Island Wire, so they were able to sponsor us door prizes for us and to donate trucks and time and a lot of manpower. Lovely. And um, Jack's Farm, they donated hampers. Jack is a, a brother to me. Mm. So to have my family support me like this on this venture was it was beyond special. Yes, yes, of course. Lakshmi Jewelers, family <laughs> to 103, great supporters of Indian arts and culture. Mm-hmm. SSR Productions, Trishti is right here with me in the yeah. studio, always putting up with me, you know, all my um, tantrums and <laughs> trying to help me manifest my dreams, you know? Wonderful. Blue Waters, I mean, I drink Blue Waters all the time, so mm-hmm. it's it, it was no um, pretense when when the two brands aligned and who else? We, have, we had Malu's Catering. Malu, have you ever had food from Malu's Catering? Where are they? Malu's Catering is lo- located in the South. I've been to so many performances at various yeah, weddings and, and Malu's it was Catering. Probably them on e- exactly, exactly. Yeah, they don't get the highlights. No, they yeah. don't. So Who I wanna... cooked the food? 
Exactly. Let's find out who cooked the food. So I want to make special <laughs> mention of Malu's Catering because they provided really, really good fuel for us backstage. Right. They fueled us very well. Some good roti. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I want to make mention of the various ticket outlets and locations. Kemlani Souvenir Shop, The Little Store, Accessory Fusion and Gramaza, Nancy's Pharmacy Limited, Passage to Asia, Bagans Drugs, Jack's Farm, Trini Treasures, no entertainment what am i saying no entertainment is on my list why because no entertainment was um the name of the little group and i say little meaning four people myself shrishti varma ravi Pasad, that's four already five sorry and ashley baksh who came together in a emergency meeting to help me put, this put my dream mm -hmm. into effect and put it into reality and I can't tell you how thankful I am for the people around me who helped to, to help me bring my vision and, and, and help me express my inner thoughts on stage and help me deliver that message. I feel so proud to have aligned with their brands because they're all brands on their own and they humbly came under the umbrella mm. of Now Entertainment, right. SSR Productions, Sarov Entertainment, Ashley Baksh, her name alone is a brand, Varma, he has many brands under his belt, of course Ravi Pasad, Sarov, and um, to just work together with, with these amazing individuals was so special for me and we had like all journeys there were bumps in the road and we all had each other to lean on all the time wonderful you know mm -hmm. to, to, to get through any little difficult patch and we had a very short space of time to accomplish what we did and i'm extremely happy in in in, in a beautiful fashion that we came out with our heads still on our shoulders mm -hmm. but bowed in grace towards the final entity and energy i would like to thank my Sadhguru, Sri 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 Ganapati Sachidananda Swamiji for giving me the inspiration. Sometimes I don't feel worthy to be channeling this message because uh, I don't feel like I deserve some of the information I receive and mm -hmm. some of the grace and blessing. But he chooses the lowest among us to make an example and to set an example. So I feel humbled that I am chosen at times and from time to time to deliver some notes from my heart, from my mind and soul. Lovely. And when you deliver, we accept. Always wonderful. So we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you are phenomenal. And I know the next part of Notes to Self will be just as amazing as, amazing as your last one. So we're wishing you all the best. And of course, we are here for you, so you can come back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you can come back and join us here on One Three FM. We would definitely love to be that official station for you. Thank you so much. It's you always a blessing. You're welcome. Same. How are we ending off now with all those beautiful things that were just said? I would just love to thank one last time all the beloved guests in attendance. Of course. And just hope and pray that that love and that light and that energy and that music stays with them forever. Definitely. That will happen. <laughs> Thank you, Nishad. I mean, Nishad. <laughs> really, Kavita, that's how you end up this thing? I turned my head on see Nishad, you know. Oh, okay, okay, it's, okay. It's written here on the computer because I have your instrumental there in the background. Right, right. I right. know you said you wanted. Silence. Silence. So, excuse me. Nival. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shivai Rudraya Namaha. Thank you very much. <laughs> and same to you. Blessings always. And we look forward to seeing you and hearing from you again. Thank you. You're very welcome. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some messages now, friends. Uh, yeah, a ton of messages. And then perhaps one selection that might take us to the top of the hour. 20 to go before we hit 5.30.